it's starting now. <laughs> okay, it's Chews here, you guys. Hey, Chewbies, what's up? All right. I don't know if I've uh, shown you guys if I've done any videos where I've included this shirt, but basically, this is what it says. My hobbies include working out, eating healthy, and lying. Okay. And I love me a ringer tea, even though I don't have very many of them. But at any rate, um, hey, so I um, have had a uh, somewhat of a not a not really that busy of a day, but. I had to wait around here to get some shoes that were attempted uh, to be delivered to me yesterday, but the building manager forgot to, um, she wasn't around in the building to sign for the package, so I had to kind of make myself available here today. So I went to a cafe down the block from me and had some breakfast, where I had a hammy jammy. I don't know if you guys have a dollop near you, but if you do, um, or in your town, uh, get the hammy jammy. It's really good. I had never had it until today. Did that, uh, putzed around a little while. My shoes were delivered. Uh, they're really nice too. I wish I could show you. I have them on. I wish I could show them to you, but they're nice. Um, and I got what? I think I got $15. Yeah, $15 off of them. Um, from DSW. Finally, I get some good shoes from them. Um, I went to another cafe to have a latte and to see this guy that works there that I kind of like. Um, and um, he, I couldn't really talk to him because he was busy. I went to Walmart to get some much needed uh, food. And I went some other place which informs the video that I'm going to uh, present to you now. And believe it or not, it's a little messy. But it is the long-awaited crisp crisp i said crisp where's a fucking camera crisp i don't know where to look at you guys fuck it anyway uh this is the video my second i believe my second crisp video you guys some of you all have asked for it for a long time i procrastinated and putzed around it's finally here i got the soul sassy wings although these don't look soul or sassy uh i don't know what this is <laughs> I just expected it to look um, better um, or more uh, flavorful, I guess. So, <coughs> I mean, you guys have to forgive me uh, if you hear some cold or coughing noises, nasal noises. I'm still recovering like allergies and stuff like that. And my drink is a mixture of strawberry uh, flavored iced tea and lemonade and I'm gonna mix some ginger ale with that so much for product placement um, I have to say uh, this joint crisp I don't know that there's a day when they're not packed these guys seems like they're always packed and I only know that because um, when I wait for one of my buses to go home, uh, I can sometimes, if I walk past there, you, you see it or, or ride past. Still very good. But just not as juicy or saucy as I would have liked them. It's on there, but just not pronounced. You guys, and you, you, I think some of you know this, I'm not the best wing eater. Ugh. 
So you're going to see me do some stuff that you may not do. Now this I love. All that the green onions on that. Look at that. Oh, I'm trying not to let it spill. Hmm. I just want that, that, that whole batch right there. Mmm. Arma Manners, how are you guys doing? Well, I hope. I want to talk about an incident, but I'm not sure if I covered it in my last video. I feel like I did, but I had an incident a week or two ago with a CTA bus driver who basically, um, uh, just what's just really rude. Uh, she insinuated that I. Uh, well, basically, what happened was when I got on the bus, I you know we have these uh, venture cards, these uh, fare cards. Put money on the card. I put money on my card that morning, and I knew there was no reason it would have run out that quick. So it's it was a new card because my old card is getting ready to expire. I put it on the thing to have it read. It wouldn't read for several times. So I go on to... She's looking at me first through her glasses. I can feel her looking at me like, bitch, get off the bus. But I go into my account and show her, look, this is my account. I have money on this. And she goes, we're not supposed to see that. And secondly, just because that's on doesn't mean that's your card. Insinuating that I'm still in the car. I'm like, are you kidding me? Really? I was so, I, oh, if I was another type of person, uh, we would have been fighting on that bus. Um, so, I told her basically that I wasn't getting off of the bus. And she's like, well, I'll let you on this time, but, you know, just so you know, don't tell me what you're not going to do because uh, I can call someone and have you escorted off the bus. I said, you can do whatever you want, loans. We have an understanding. I'm not getting off of this bus. You know, I straight Rosa Parks her ass big time. And, you know, I'm going to get racial here for a moment. She was black. She was not white. So black men have it hard enough as it is. In case you didn't hear that, let me repeat it. Black men have it hard, hard enough as it is. Why are you going to be like that? You know, first of all, it, your, your professionalism leaves a lot to be desired. And secondly, you just better be glad I'm not a certain kind of person because, you know, here, bus drivers get assaulted sometimes. I know this. My cousin is, works for the uh, CTA. And he was assaulted one time. So, immediately, I'm on with email, I'm emailing customer service. I got almost everything I need for them to ID her. I even did a follow-up email. And believe it or not, I saw her the next day when I was boarded the bus again. Now, I know they didn't do anything or say anything to her. And you know what? They probably won't. I hope they do. And their email response back to me, they made it seem like 
you know, where we really appreciate your feedback and this is not something we tolerate. We're forwarding this to senior management review. And I replied back, thank you for getting back to me. And I said, I would like confirmation that this woman was ID'd and that her attitude is adjusted the next time I see her. At first, I was on Facebook like, I want to get this bitch's job, but, you know, I want her to have her job. I don't want her to lose her job. And I, my greatest satisfaction would be to see her again and to see that attitude corrected so that the next person doesn't come on there and shoot the shit out of her for being mouthy. I really am in a good mood, you guys. But in case I didn't share that with you, I wanted to get it out of the way. <laughs> oh. Ah, oh, boy. This video for, is for all you chubies. But it's also for people like Whispers is Active who loves chicken videos. Ada, Ada Cruz, Caesar, Brother Luke. Andy B. Peter, mm -mm. and all my tubies out there, or all the chicken lovers, uh, I can tell you, this just tastes saucy, like not, not too saucy, but it's like a glaze. If I have this again, I need for them to not cook it so fast. I need for them to pay special attention. Because while I, I don't, it's okay that it's crispy, but I want to taste that sauce too. So I think I told you, yeah, I, told, I did mention music to you guys that I was... Um, tapping into my creative gene again. Haven't gotten yet to with my friend uh, yet. We need to really sit down and talk about what we want to do, what the expe expectations are. <clears throat> but I love the two songs I wrote. And again, I don't want to really talk about them much. If a piece of meat does not look right, <laughs> it doesn't go in my mouth. <laughs> Sorry. I, I, I even saw that. I heard it and saw it and everything else.
and then these green onions and this like breading goodness on the bottom there's not much of it but y'all know what I'm talking about so let me see I, I had oh have you guys had Burger King's they call it the double quarter pounder king it's not bad it basically just doesn't have tomatoes or mayonnaise uh, like the McDonald's quarter pounder but I was kind of struck I I guess McDonald doesn't have a patent on that. I thought they, well, I, you know, yeah, like they I, they should have a patent on it, but I guess they don't. I guess it's okay. I still want the McWhopper to happen. I don't know why they fucking around with it. Doesn't that sound like a good name? The McWhopper? Anyway, it was pretty good. And the other day, I had, um, a few days ago, I had the Rodeo barbecue chicken sandwich. So good. But... To be quite honest, on February 14th, Valentine's Day, I have a uh, an appointment with the doctor just so he can see how my blood pressure is doing. And I know I didn't got all in this chicken. <laughs> But I get a couple of weeks to kind of prove that I'm doing okay. Let's see, this is this can provide more tingles for you guys. This is the vibe I'm, I'm, I was trying to be on that I'm trying to work on. So, asparagus, chopped. Uh, Spinach, damn it. And this uh sugar pea, sugar snap pea, stir fry. That's the vibe I was trying to be on. I have uh, ground turkey and uh, ground chicken in there that I'm gonna like kind of saute and then add it to that just to try to keep it cute because I've been really I haven't been doing the best when it comes to uh, fast food um, I'm not going to create a miracle the other thing I'd like to do and I think I'll do it Monday is join Planet Fitness so that uh, I can really like quit talking about it and incorporate a proper uh, workout regime into this mix. So that I can have, you know, some good numbers when I see them. This may very well be the longest video I've ever done because I ran my mouth. But I am going to end it here. I'm filming this on YouTube's video camera, whatever, so I don't know if that's going to mean a quicker upload or not. It's a very good combination, these two. Uh, the strawberry lemonade iced tea and the ginger ale. Not bad at all. So, I thank you guys once again for tuning in. Uh, sorry for that shaking. Thank you for, um, 
you know, continuing to support me and all of that stuff. If you like what you see and would like to uh, contribute a small donation, uh, anything you contribute would be embraced. Uh, again, my whole thing was figuring if I could, you know, I could use some of that donation money to go to a restaurant. There's one I want to go to that's right next to the crisp, but I don't want to say what it is because it's kind of a special thing. And if I ever go there, I'll tell you why I'll do a video. I should just do a video anyway. I've never been there before, but when I do it, I'll let you know why I didn't want to mention it now. Um, there's something unique about it. So, that's in relation to me, believe it or not. But uh, guys, okay, you have a great weekend. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you liked the video. And uh, I'll see you soon, okay? Bye. Bye.